President Biden is planning a trip to the Wyoming Valley. It comes after he had to cancel his trip last month. 2822 Eyewitness News reporter Nicole Rogers explains how it presents new opportunities to the area. Joe Biden is planning a do over after his original trip to Wilkes University was canceled in July due to a positive COVID test. We were as ready as you can be. It came together very quickly. I remember sitting in my office like all of us thinking it's about to happen. And of course, once he tested positive for COVID, that wasn't going to be possible. Uh, and everything that came up came down quickly. Wilkes University President Dr. Greg Kant says although the community was disappointed to hear of President Biden's last minute cancellation, there is a silver lining. Last time there was no students around, there was no opportunity for students to interact. We're, we're hoping that there'll be a chance for some of our students to meet with President Biden. The White House confirmed President Biden will travel to Wilkes-Barre on Tuesday, August 30th to give remarks on his Safer America plan to reduce gun violence. He will speak at the Mart Center at Wilkes University. Students say they are eager to see him. I guess it just shows how special the school is, being that it's not too big, too attractive, but I guess that's pretty interesting. It just puts our school, like I said, on the map. It shows like what we're really about. It's definitely uh, a big deal. Politics are obviously such a huge part of our lives, so like it's important that we know a lot about politics and having the president come here is a, definitely uh, a big deal. A big deal happening again for the first time in half a century. Uh, my understanding is the last time a sitting president came to Wilkes was Richard Nixon 50 years ago. So we've had lots of political figures who come uh, for campaign events, but to have a sitting president come to our campus 50 years is a long time. In Wilkes-Barre, Nicole Rogers, 2822 Eyewitness News. And we'll have coverage of President Biden's visit on August 30th, both on air and online at pahomepage.com.